What's up guys? It's been a while since I made a video. So I'm gonna make something interesting today. Today I'm gonna be assembling a Speedway No V 0.4.3 bud um, and I'm gonna take you along for the ride. Alright to do this um, it's gonna be very simple no special tools. Um, I'm in my balcony as you can see extension cord and I drink my spouse made for me some peanut punch right and let me walk you through what we have going on here we have an Arduino speed reno board um, some solder Harmon enclosure and the components which go on the speed reno board and I also have an old tonal clipper which I'll show you what I use that for the components are I think 33 pack packages um, I got them from Weaver at WTM Tronics pre well packed package okay so everything is labeled and shows you pretty much exactly where everything is going so on this one we have resistors and it gives you the value of the resistors and where exactly they go capacitors map sensors and whatnot and whatnot all right the Speedueno site gives you a brief description as to how to go about soldering this um, it's a pretty good guide uh, you don't have to follow it in the exact steps but you you should since it covers the easiest route um, but it's freestyle you do it exactly how you want some components may be a bit more difficult than others to do but in the end you just solder in components double check everything and it's a pretty easy task all right so let's get started so I'm gonna get started with the resistors. I have all the resistors right here. The labels. And this is the board. As you can see, the board is labeled. R would be resistors, and the Ds would be diodes, and the Cs would be capacitors. But everything you see here is also on the pack. So for instance, we have R1, R11, R14, R17. So each of these go into here so you would look at the board so you would find R11 right here and so on and so forth so I'm going to start off with the resistors and I'm going to show you how I do it okay so we're going to start off with this pack right so I took one of them out and this is the resistor first one says it goes to R11 so you locate R11 on the board here we go here so it fits just about so so what we're gonna do we're gonna bend the resistor right here right at the end and then fish it through i'm gonna do one of these and then i'm gonna carry out the rest okay so this is it bent 90 degrees at the end of the resistor whoa the wind just flew away one of my packs but anyways i'll get that in a second um, so yeah, so we're gonna be, let me try to do this with one hand for you guys. Uh, okay, trying to, right, so it goes in like this, and on the back of the board, all you simply do is bend the legs outwards so the resistor stays put. And then I cannot show you how I solder because I, I need both hands to solder. But you would go in there if you're solder and your soldering iron, and then just solder right here. And with the first resistor soldered in, this is what we're trying to accomplish: solder joint. Let's see if the camera will focus. Yes. So we're looking at a solder joint, something shaped like a, one of the Hershey's kisses right and the tunnel clipper what I do or well, the nail clipper I just go in with the clipper like this and just cut off the excess like that so we try and do this one has a bit of excess so I'll clean that up in a bit but this is what we essentially trying to accomplish and that kitchen mat the reason I like to use it it's really soft so it applies even pressure across the solder the components sorry so 
can see my resistor is solder in. Yep, so the, the kitchen mat on the chair applies even pressure. So it makes for a pretty, pretty easy job. And from there, you just continue soldering. Most likely, your packages would be labeled. So you take it one at a time. So guys, at this point, all the capacitors are in and soldered. Um, when you're doing this, um, if you're a novice, try not to do everything at the same time. So you can split up in maybe groups of 10. So you do this 10 or this 10. Uh, but when you have about 30 odd capacitors, um, resistors to solder in, it gets a bit clustered and it's a bit difficult to do so try and split up in groups of 10 or something another thing the resistors are not polarized so they go they go anyway i just try to arrange them so mine looks uniform so the gold stripes are on one side or the purple stripes etc etc right next we're gonna move to the diodes okay so the diodes if you look here I'm not sure if you can pick it up on the camera the diodes on the left you will see see if we can get it to focus you see a gray stripe on the left side this is D16 and if we look at the board let's get it into focus D16 is here and you can see the stripe here so the stripe on the diodes matches the stripe on the board it's important because diodes only work one way we have the LEDs uh, if you look carefully you will see we have the LED with two legs one being longer than the other um, the quick way to remember this the trick is that the longer leg goes in let me find one of the LED holes so see here if you can just focus so the longer leg goes in the square pad so you can see a square and a round pad longer leg anode i believe it is goes into the square pad on the v0.3 and the v0.4 board okay, so we have all resistors and diodes soldered in including the leds so next up we're going to be doing the capacitors um, the majority of the capacitors are not polarized with the exception of c14 and c16 right the longer leg of c14 right here you'd see i'm not sure if you can pick it up you see the polarity positive this longer leg goes to here at the bottom here and the longer leg of 16 goes to the top here right other than that the other capacitors go anyway gonna pick up with some more progress in a bit okay so we have all capacitors sorted up next step we're going to be installing these pin headers um, the trick for this is the board uh, I'm trying to do this with one hand the board goes on the Arduino like this with the pin headers going through the Arduino and then through here. So the trick is you break the pin headers, put them in there like so, you break it, do this for every slot, including the back, then you fit the board through the pin headers and then you solder at the top. Let's pick up with some more progress. All right, and this is the Arduino with the pin headers has a long end and a short end so the long end goes into the Arduino and then the short end will be going through the PCB and you'll be soldering to the top of that so let me try and fit this with one hand okay I'll pick up after I fit this uh, right here the pins are through the board so we'll be soldering up all of these right and the board also has some other jumpers let me see if i can get this for instance we have two here two here three three 
the five of them in total so we also gonna do that and solder everything up okay so the pin headers for the jumpers are soldered up and those at the bottom right next step we're going to do the screw terminal for the power and the ground and the IDC connector this IDC connector um, some folks choose to solder directly well to the board here so if you planning to just put wires in there and solder out you don't need to put the IDC connectors um, in my case I'm gonna leave it so I'm gonna solder that in now so the IDC connector if you're using it has this slot here the slot matches with this white box you see right here just for that mention that okay so the IDC connector is soldered in the screw J3 the screw connector make sure the screw terminals are well the screw receptacles wire receptacles you get my drift uh, facing on the outside um, next up you would need to put the sockets here uh, in my case I don't have the sockets for IC1 and IC2 which are the coil drivers where did I put it so I'm just gonna solder them directly into wait I got it so there they are um, if you look here I see one you'd see sort of like a piece missing here this lines up with the half moon right here the piece where it misses where it's missing well the part of the IC which shows the half moon so this half moon goes here and same goes for here you will need the socket for IC free since the VR conditioner goes here and then we'll also put IC4 so you need sockets for here, here, one, two, and four. Well, you pretty much use sockets for all, all four. However, you can solder one, two, and four directly to the board. I see three. You can solder the VR conditioner directly to the board, but I prefer putting a socket here. So we'll pick up with that progress. Okay, so the coil drivers are in. I see four as well. The female header for the VR conditioner comes in two pieces. That's in. You would also put in the header for the stepper motor. I'm not going to be using that, so I won't bother putting that in. Um, next step, we're going to put in the MOSFETs. There are eight of them one, two, three, four, and the power regulator as well. And you too, right here. So with the MOSFETs, it will go from, they will on the board, they label Q1 up to Q8. Only thing you need to note, if you look, for instance, let's say Q8 here, you see the three holes and then you see these three smaller rectangles. The smaller rectangles aligns with this tab. So in that case, the case of Q8, it will be going in like this. With the tab here aligning with these three and let me see what else I can show you. I think this one, for instance, Q3 at the top, it'll be going in like this. So the tab aligns with the three smaller rectangles. Yep, so we're gonna get to, get to the soldering once more. And the final component is the map sensor. I already went ahead and did this. So we have the map sensor. These pins are straight. You basically fit them in there. You can see the holes right there you bend them um, you get some nut and bolts supplied with the the kit fit it in there to align them and then bend them and just use that small screwdriver to fit them in there make sure you have enough enough length on the legs at the bottom of the PCB and go ahead and solder that and that would pretty much be your V0.3 You'd also have jumpers, set a couple of these jumpers, where this, they come out like this. So, you use these to set your trigger input style, <laughs> sorry about that. You use this to, um, to set your board for, had a brain fat there for a second. Um, VR, if you're using a VR sensor or a hollow sensor. I already have mine set to VR since that, that is what I intend on using. You get five of them, I'm only using three. After that, your board fits into your 
Let me see if I can do this with one hand. Okay, let me pause the camera. Okay, so your board fits in here, still crooked. Let me see if I can get this right. One hand, come on, get in there. Alrighty. So your Arduino would go on under the board. Goes in here, front plate. Cut this depend on what connection style you're using, ribbon cable or wires. It's the beauty of it. You can do almost anything. And you get some screws here, so you screw up the board, and that will essentially cover the assembly of a V0.4 board. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, and depending on how skilled you are, um, when I started a couple of years ago, it would take me about six hours. Um, now, um, the really skilled guys can do it in about two, two and a half hours. So, some basic tools and two to six hours and you can uh, assemble your Speedueno V0.3 board. This one is a V0.3, V0.4, sorry, board. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're gonna wrap up this video. Um, so yeah, wrap up V0.4 assembly, pretty simple. Um, basic tools, all you pretty much need is a soldering iron, some solder, and some time. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this so there was a V0.3 assembly guide already, so I just figured I'd make the V0.4. Um, hope this is helpful, hope it helps someone. Also, um, I meant to do this on the last video, but I want to say a big thank you. Currently, we have two Patreons. Patreons, Patreons. Um, I think we have Christian Dumortier. I hope I didn't butcher your name. And we have Dylan Idol. Thank you guys so much um, for becoming Patreons to the channel. Um, every little bit helps. Thank you guys a million. And like always, guys, like, subscribe, share. Leave a comment down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then guys, stay safe.